What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension tutorial for you. So today we're going to talk about an extension that I covered a couple weeks ago for aligning objects within SketchUp. And before we get started, today's vi video is brought to you by the SketchUp Essentials course. The SketchUp Essentials course is a course that I created to give you a start to finish training for SketchUp. So uh, if that's something you're interested in, you want a uh, easy to follow start to finish training to take your SketchUp training to the next level, make sure you check that out at the SketchUpEssentials.com slash course. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. So this extension is an extension I covered a few weeks back. Um, it's called Curic Space and uh, I've gotten a really good positive response from a lot of people that do more um, like things on shelves and spacing different objects within SketchUp. And the reason for that is because this extension is basically designed to help you space out different things in your SketchUp models. And so as a lot of you know right now without any extensions basically the way that you have to space things out is you have to make a copy of them and then use the move tool in copy mode. So if I do like times four or something like that I have to set my spacing that way. And then if you have to make a change it can be really kind of annoying having to do that. I mean probably the best way to have to do that without this extension is to erase these out and then recopy everything. So that can get a little bit annoying and a little bit frustrating. Well, what you can do instead is you can use this extension. And so what this extension does is this allows you to space already created objects within your SketchUp models. And so let's say, for example, that you had a series of books on a bookshelf that you wanted to space out. Basically, the way you could do this is you could just select all of your books, and then uh, you would activate Curic Space by clicking and then you can just tell it which axis you want to space these along. So in this case, I would want to space these along the red axis. And you can see how as soon as I click on that, it tells me down in the corner what my spacing is. And what it's doing is it's looking at the center points of each group or each object. So right now, the way that I could do this is I could type in, let's say I wanted these to be spaced at every two inches. I could type in two inch. I could type in three inch and hit the enter key. Um, I could type in one and a half and hit the enter key. And so what this allows you to do is this allows you to space these really quickly. So in this case, you'd want to be at least 1.75 so you have an actual gap in here. And so you can see how that can be really useful for spacing these different things within your SketchUp models. And so one of the other things you can do with this that's also helpful is instead of using the move tool in copy mode, what you can do is you can just select a single object and then activate Curic Space and it's going to ask you to duplicate it. So as soon as you click on this, if it's only one object, it's going to ask you how many copies you want to make. So let's say, for example, that I wanted to make four copies of this, I would just hit four. And you'll notice that you can't really see the copies quite yet um, because these are all kind of placed in the same point. Well, what you would do is you would click on this green axis and then you would type in your spacing and there's a little bit of trial and error involved you do have to do a little bit of guesswork to get this exactly right but you can see how I was able to really quickly create those copies and so you could use this to create a bunch of copies of these and space them out really quickly. And one thing I would recommend is I would recommend getting them spaced the way that you want them from forward to back and then grouping them. Otherwise things can get a little bit weird. Um, so we'll do four on this one. I'll type in four inches. I'll move this forward a little bit and we're actually going to use another extension from Curic in just a second. Um, but I would go ahead and create my copies and I would go ahead and get my spacing set. And so generally what I would do with something like this instead of moving these and lining them up manually is I would use the other extension from Curic that I've already covered called Curic Align and that allows you to align your different objects within your model. But before you do that you probably want to put each one of these rows in a group and so the reason for that is because otherwise if I activate Curic Align you can see how it's going to place a bounding box in here and I can click on the bounding box but since these are all individual groups you can see how it kind of smashes them all together. Well what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to take each one of these rows and I'm going to group it. And so now I can take all four of these and I can align them very quickly to the front of this box. And so I can use Curic Space to space all of these on this shelf.
and then I can use Curic Align to align them to the front of this box. So you can see how this can make uh, creating copies of things like this and aligning things like this really easily. And the last thing I want to cover when we talk about, and the other thing is if you ever wanted to change the spacing of the objects that are in here, you could just double click inside this box or inside this group and then you could change the spacing individually for each one of these. So once you're get, you get your grouping set up properly, you can see how this allows you to make changes really easily. And so one other thing I want to make sure you're aware of is there's also an option with Curic Space um, to space things based on the object axis or the object origin rather than on the object centers. So that gets a little more important when you're dealing with objects like these that all have different sizes. And so there's two different ways that you can space objects within SketchUp just logically. So the first way is you can space it based on the center of every object. So like for example, if I select all of this and I activate space object, you can see how down in the lower left hand corner it tells you tab equals position center. What that's telling you is this is spacing these based on the center of each object. So in this case, basically when you tell it to space this, um, when you're spacing each one of these groups, it's spacing based on the center point in here. And you can kind of see that I believe. So if I come in here and select these, then I activate this and then I put my mouse over the red axis, you can see, it's, it's a little hard to see, but you can see how there's a little star at the center point of each one of these. So as I move my mouse, you can see how there's a star here, there's a point here, there's a little star in here. So basically that's telling you that that's the point that's being spaced. Well, you can also tell this to space off each object's origin. And so what the origin is, is the origin is basically where the axes intersect. So your model has an origin and then each object has an origin as well. So if I double click in here, the origin for this group is actually this corner right here. You can see how the axes intersect. And so that's important because for right now, for each one of these objects, if I was to tap the tab key, you can see how this changes in the lower left hand corner to position equals origin. Well now if I move my mouse over the red axis on each one of these objects, you can see I'm getting a star right here. Basically along the actual corners of these objects. So the little stars are showing you where that's going to be, but that means if I set my spacing based on the origin, it's going to be a little bit different. So if I was to type in four inches, or five inches, and you probably want to click on this line actually, but if I was to type in four or five inches, you can see how the spacing's a little bit different because it's spacing this point from this point from this point as opposed to doing it on the center lines. And most of the time I find myself doing this on the center line, so I would just hit tab, and then if I was to type in four inches here, you can see how these are more well spaced. So, but just be aware there's also an option to space these based on the center lines or based on the origin of each object as opposed to the center. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Is this helpful to you? Do you find this extension helpful? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing with this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.